High, low, where did it go? All about animal camouflage. I'm the cat in the hat, come in trouble with me to find animals that are not easy to see. Camouflage helps them hide. It's the way they're concealed. But these hidden animals will soon be revealed. All over the world, animals must adapt to the conditions or of their habitat. Adaptations are traits that help animals survive, different looks or behaviors that keep them alive. An example is camouflage, which helps to protect them. If they cannot be seen, others may not detect them. There are different kinds of camouflage adaptation. This first one is called concealing coloration. Some animals change color to match their background. It helps them blend in so they might not be found. Concealing color coloration is a type of camouflage. During the winter, the, this little stout blends in with the snow with its fluffy white coat. In the spring, it will grow a new coat that is brown so it can blend in with colors on the ground. This sloth barely moves when he does. He's so slow that on his shaggy fur, some plants start to grow. These plants are called algae. They turn his fur green. He blends in with the leaves and can hardly be seen. I didn't know that. Some animals change color when danger is near. Predators may not even know they are, near, are here. These are flashlight fish. Watch as they swim by. They have glowing bacteria under each eye. These bacteria let out a bright greenish glow which lights up dark water wherever they go. But when they're in danger, small folds in their skin cover the glow so the fish can blend in. Some, some animals hide right in front of our eyes. They are hard to see because they wear a disguise. To keep hidden, some look just like things they are not. It's the reason why they're not so not easy to spot. These leafy sea dragon float, floats in the ocean. It looks like seaweed as it moves in slow motion. Disguise is a type of camouflage. It's hard to believe when you're watching it swish that it isn't seaweed. It's really a fish. Tighten, sit down, please. This violet snail can hide easily. It makes bubbles and looks just like foam on the sea. This flounder looks just like the rocky seabed. We see only its eyes on the side of its head. Scuba dive in the ocean and you may not and may get a shock the poisonous stonefish looks just like a rock this insect on this tree has a life-saving trick instead of an insect it looks like a stick a walking stick mm -hmm. sticks do not run so when threatened it will stop where it is and they stay very still some animals need to sneak up on their prey if they're even if they're seen by prey, the prey may get away. Alligators look like logs. They sit and they wait. Prey don't know they're in danger until it's too late. An eyelash viper and this fruit look alike. The snake hides in the fruit till it's ready to strike. Ooh. This next kind of camouflage adaptation, thing one says is called... Disruptive coloration. Some animals have markings like stripes, patches, and dots. Some have a few markings, but others have lots. Markings help hide their shape. Is this tiger big or small? Its stripes hide it so we can't see its shape at all. Disruptive coloration is a type of camouflage. This little fawn has white dots on her fur in a field of white flowers. It's hard to see her. Please move out of your brother's way. While mother finds food, she leaves her fawn behind. The fawn's markings protect her. She's not easy to find. A bittern's feathers are striped, and that's what it needs to keep under cover and hide in the reeds. When wind hits the reeds, the bird sways side to side. Side. Its stripes look like the reeds, and that helps it to hide. Hmm. 
Zebras travel in herds, their stripes blend in. Like these, the patterns help zebras confuse enemies. This baby zebra stays close to her mother. Their stripes blend so it's hard to tell one from the other. A lion moves in but can't tell them apart. Where does mother end? Where does baby start? To stay safe, some animals use this survival trick. They mimic other animals that make predators sick. A bird gets sick if it eats a monarch butterfly, so it won't try to catch one. It lets monarchs fly by. Here's a monarch, and here's a viceroy. Viceroys look like monarchs, which make birds sick, and so birds don't catch viceroys either. They just let them go. Mimicry is a type of camouflage. <laughs> Mimicry is a kind of camouflage. Counter shedding makes some animals disappear, helping them to survive like this penguin right here. Penguins have dark backs, but their bellies are light. When they swim, this shading helps them stay out of sight. If a leopard seal looks down, when the penguin starts to swim, his dark back blends in so the seal can't see him. And if a killer whale looks up, the penguin fades out of sight. He blends in with the sky because his belly is white. Counter shading is the type of camouflage. Some animals hide in things that surround them. They dress up in what they can find all around them to stay hidden in all, an Australian tailor ant weaves a nest for itself out of still growing leaves. The leaves keep on growing in front of and behind it, which may make it hard for a predator to find it. This crab covers itself in seaweed decoration that falls off when it moves in another lo to another location. When it gets to a new place, what this crab must do is cover up with more seaweed to stay hidden from view. Detector crab. Camouflaged animals play hide and seek day and night to survive and find food. They must stay out of sight. They spend their whole lives trying to disappear. Can you find 10 of them? They are hiding right here. The answers are on page 45. This one, the and frog. There, uh, right there, the pot mantis. Right. Raccoon, lizard, owl. owl. Good job. All right. Lion, gator, frog, gator. The end. Bye.